Welcome everyone to my first video on building VR Chat Worlds with a software program called Unity. Unity is a game design software that you can download off the internet for free and it will allow you to build the really cool worlds and you know anything your imagination uh, can come up with in VR Chat. So I'm assuming everyone here has been into VR Chat and has seen the all the worlds there and would like to build something like that themselves. So this is going to be uh, the first video in, in a long series of video videos on Unity that stuff that I've learned over the past year developing uh, worlds in VR Chat. Before you get into Unity, you really need a good gaming desktop computer not a laptop you can't do it on your phone you get a real good computer I recommend uh, an i7 processor and a video card that has 8 gigabytes of memory uh, at least okay so once you're set up with your desktop computer uh, you open up your web browser and then you're going to type in VR chat Dot com go to the VR chat website and when you get here uh, if you've played VR chat already you have a member login so what you'll need to do is click the login button and then put your user ID and password in so we're logging in okay once you've logged into the VR chat website up at the top you'll see creator docs right here creator docs right next to Merck and VRC plus click on creator docs <clears throat> and this is the VR chat documentation and you go down here to currently supported unity version okay so you'll click on that and right here it says the current unity version for VR chat is unity 2019.4.31 f1 that's the one, the Unity version that you're going to download. Okay, so you'll click on that. And then it'll bring you to Unity's website. Okay, once you get to the Unity website, you'll see your version, 2019. It'll say install this version with Unity Hub. You'll need to install the Unity Hub first before you install the editor, which is right down here. 64-bit, but you need to install the hub first. So you'll click on this, it will download and install, and this screen will pop up here. This is your hub, this is where you start all your new projects, which we'll go over in a little bit. Go ahead and just close that window out. Go down here to Unity Editor 64-bit, and click on that. And it'll ask you to open or save. What you want to do is open it. It'll install Unity 2019.431. And then after that is installed, go ahead and close that out. And then you'll go back to your, you can close out the VR chat too. Go back to your desktop. You should see a Unity Hub icon on your desktop somewhere. Go ahead and click on that and your hub screen will open up. Make sure you have the latest version too. Um, if, if you don't have the latest version, there will be a blue bar up here and it'll at, prompt you to download it. <clears throat> Go ahead and download it. Right now the current one is 3.1.1. <clears throat> okay, you don't need to really worry about any of these right here. The only thing you're gonna be dealing with is new project or open uh, once you have projects, projects being VR chat world creations, a name that you give a world that you're working on, um, you'll see them in a the list here. But what we're going to do is we're going to start a new project right here, top right. Click on new project. It'll come up with a list like this. Um, you want to leave it default at 3D core. Um, and then you'll want to go ahead and give it a project name you can name it whatever you want VR chat world and right down here is going to ask you where you want to save 
the files that you create your world. Uh, what I usually do is I'll go ahead and make a folder on the desktop. So you right click on the desktop, go down to new folder. And we'll name this VR Chat World Project. Okay. Then we'll go back to the hub. And now you can go down here to location and click on that. It'll bring up this here. And you'll want to maneuver to the VR Chat World Project. Okay. So let's go right here. And we'll double click on that. So this is the folder that's going to save all your world files in, your assets, everything, which we'll go over later. Select folder. And now you see it's not red anymore. It's ready to go. Then you're going to go down here to create project. Click on that. What it's going to do is it's going to open the Unity game design program itself. It takes it a few moments. It'll open up with a blank screen. And this is what Unity looks like when you first start a new project. Okay, once you've got your Unity window opened up here, it may look a little intimidating at first. Don't let it scare you. Uh, what we're going to do is I'll go over all this other stuff in another video. Right now, the only thing we're going to do is install the SDK3 program from VRChat's website. All right. So to get that in here, the easiest way I found to do it is go ahead and keep Unity open. Open up your web browser and then just go back to your VRChat website. Okay. From here, you can click on download, which is right over here on the left. Click download and you'll come up with this screen. No need to click on any of this stuff. VR Chat Worlds. Download SDK3 Worlds. This is the one you want to download. Do not download this VR Chat Avatars. This is totally separate from Worlds. So you're going to click on Download SDK3 Worlds. And what it's going to do is it's going to come up and say Open or Save. You're going to open it. And right away, Unity is going to start importing that specific package from VRChat. Once it finishes downloading and pops up like this, you'll have a window. Import Unity package. Okay. Just go down here and click import. Don't worry about any of this other stuff. Click import. It'll start importing that package into the Unity program. And once this gets installed, you have the VRChat engine, so to speak, uh, in Unity, which you can then start building your world. And we will go over all that in upcoming videos. Let it install here. It takes it a little bit depending on the kind of computer you have, but it will get there. <laughs> this is really the this is the first package you really need to import into Unity <clears throat> is the VR Chat SDK3. And one thing to note, for some reason, when you install this SDK3 program into Unity for the first time, it doesn't update it fully. So my recommendation and what I've done is once it gets installed, and it looks like it's installed, you can see it down here, down here in your uh, project window, VRC SDK. So once that's installed, I like to go up here and also it added a VRChat SDK tab up here into your other tabs in Unity. So you want to click on VRChat SDK 
go down to utilities go across to check for updates click on that it'll pop up with that window an update is available even though you just downloaded the SDK 3 it still comes up with this Go ahead and click download again. It'll take you back to the VRChat website. And then you click on the downloads and click on download SDK3 Worlds again. Open it. And it will start installing the package again. It'll come up with this window. Uh, just go ahead and hit import. Don't worry about what's checked and what's not import it now you're set now you've got the latest SDK 3 update um, VRChat comes out with updates themselves from time to time so every time they come out with an update you'll need to go back here up to VRChat SDK utilities go down to check for updates and do the process again <laughs> and that is I believe all for this video and we will dive into it deeper on the next one have fun everybody see ya